We love Jennifer Aniston. You great guys young lady. Have a great uh, chemistry. Love her very much. I know Jennifer since we're very young. Uh, I was 22. She was 20. I met her at a delicatessen. She was with a she was with a good friend of mine. They were hanging out. I sat down. Uh, she had uh, eggs. I was I was eating French toast. Oh, with, you have a really good memory. Well, I remember everything. Yes, uh, I had cho I had chocolate milk that morning. Oh, what the? Oh. And a crazy straw. Holy moly! I can't believe you remember all this. I uh, didn't finish it. <laughs> I, can't, I can't believe you remember all these details. I blew bubbles. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Did you ever think ever in your life of maybe joining the military? And yeah, I swear to God, my whole life, when I was a kid, I was like, I am going to be in the military. I'm going to defend our... I, that's all I ever talked about in my house. Like, I'm going, I, I'm defending, I am... This is what I'm made for. And then I was like 15 at the dinner table, and I was saying that same speech, I can't wait to join the military. My father goes, you're not joining the military. And I go, why not? He goes, because you're a pussy. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's one reason why yeah. I have to do it. It made sense. It made sense. <laughs> it makes sense here. Because uh. <laughs> uh, literally, I would try to do one chin up back then. <laughs> and my father would say, that's going to join the military. <laughs> no, okay, okay. You're not going to save the world. Yeah. You decided to go into comedy, yeah. Yes. And thank goodness you did, because you're fantastic. And we love thank you. you. We, too, we need buddy. you in comedy. I've heard that you guys have, have, have known each other for now 20 years. Is that true? Yes. 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 My kids, uh, well, they're now 36, uh, 33, 32, uh, 29. But when they were little, they said, Dad, we've never asked you, for you to call anybody up that's famous to bring them up. We have one request, and they wanted to meet Adam Sandler. And I said, right. who is Adam Sandler? <laughs> <laughs> of course. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Uh, and Dad. And saw that movie you were in. Billy huh? Madison, Billy Madison. Yes, yes. This is in fact Billy Madison Day. Yes, yes. Thank you. Yes, they like the Billy Madison. He he didn't watch it, but that's okay. And but uh, the kid, they 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 call me Dust. I got a call out of nowhere, and you know I was very young and excited. And, and someone said Dustin called. He wanted to meet you. And I said, Oh my, you know, I'm very ex nervous because I grew up loving Dustin and and Marathon Man and uh, uh, just every movie Dustin did was such a Kramer versus Kramer was such a huge part of all our lives. And anyways, so I was supposed to be at Dustin's house at dinner. For dinner. You got invited for dinner? That's yeah. He, he, yeah, I'm sorry. He invited me over to meet his kids. So I, I, I was supposed to go to Dustin's house at 5. I was living in a little hotel, and I left my hotel at 12 so I could get there and make sure I wasn't late. <laughs> and I, five, five hours early, five yeah. Five hours. I, so I went to hell, and I was in my little red Yugo, and I uh, <laughs> drove there, and I didn't know uh, Los Angeles that well. But anyways, I got to the house that early, and then... Uh, I sat in my car. And we're it's waiting for you. Yes. They, 10 minutes, 20 minutes, 30 minutes, 40 yeah. minutes, an hour. I, I was late because I was terrified to go meet Dustin off. Well, yeah, so, you, so I just sat in my car. You're sitting in your Hugo? Yeah, yes. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but, but I was very uh, scared because he, he is dusty. But then when I came in there, he was the warmest man, and like he is, and the best with his kids. And we had dinner. And I know, will never forget, we... You guys, you and the kids were playing uh, uh, an acting exercise game. Improvs. You were doing improvs yeah. at the table, and Dusty was making each one of his great kids do, like, give, you give a place, and, yes. uh, yeah, right? And everyone was, everyone in the family was awesome. Like, was very talented and saying funny jokes or very smooth lines and blah, blah, blah. And all I would remember was praying, please don't get to me. <laughs> I don't, want, I don't want to fail in front of the whole family. It's a lot of pressure. Yeah, it's a lot of much. pressure to beat somebody. Yeah. Did we? Did we? You got to me, and I, I don't know, I, was, I think I choked on some food. or so I got out of it. I don't remember. <laughs> did you, uh, did you, I heard stories that you used to play basketball together or something. Is that just uh, a, it, it, do you remember that at all? No, you played with my son. I played with Jake. But, yeah, but, but along, when you first, that day, you loved me so much when we had dinner. You thought I was such a nice guy that you invited me to play basketball. And it was uh, you and Tom Cruise against <laughs> me and your son, Jake. And you guys kept thinking I was like Wilt Chamberlain because I was so tall. <laughs> 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 but, but, yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't remember that? 
<laughs> no, I don't, but I know that I'm the tallest one in my family and always have been. <laughs> yeah. So. But then you but, but then you so then you went to the Golden Globes I cuz I heard I Yes, uh, he doesn't know that either. I don't that, think you remember that either, but I was at your house. They were, it, Dustin, <laughs> Dustin was getting a <laughs> lifetime achievement award. <laughs> and uh, I happened to be at the house, and then for no reason, you looked at me, you go, you want to come? And I was like, do I want to come, you know, to the, I didn't even know what the Golden Globes was. And I was like, yeah, yeah, I'll come, and you, you got to wear something nice or something. I said, yeah, sure. And you got the biggest award of the night, and I was at your table, and everyone who was up on stage, like Redford and, and I remember Christopher Walken, they were all looking at me like, why is this ass here? <laughs> 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 I got to meet these guys from the film that are like real people. They're, oh yes, yes. They're not actors. They're kind of characters. They're, they're in real ca life. Yeah, yeah. A lot of the people from the jewelry district are in it. In it and then there's some uh, guys after me in the movie who are uh, real. The, the, the Safdie brothers are really like into the right cast and, and who has the right look. And all these, a lot of them weren't actors. And these guys who beat me up. And the, I get beat up throughout the movie a lot because I owe money and stuff, but um, these guys were, who were beating me up were really good guys. But, but they didn't ever do a, a movie before, so there was a stunt coordinator who would say, like, you know, you don't have to really choke at him. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and, like, and they were all like, yes, nodding along nice, and uh, like, you know, this looks like you're choking him. They're like, uh, they literally didn't hear anything the guy was saying. <laughs> <laughs> and they would talk to me like they love me, said, like, Mr. Deeds was incredible. I was like, oh, thanks, man. And then uh, action, and then just full choke, and <laughs> I was like trying to tap out a punch in the roof, and they're like, Adam's in character, and I was like, no, I really, I'm getting choked right now. <laughs> I noticed there's something going on in your eye, I buddy. I had a, uh, an accident, everybody. Everything's all right, but uh, I wish it was a good story. It's <laughs> pathetic. Uh, so <laughs> what happened was, Jimmy, I'm in my bed. Uh-huh. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so, wow. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm in my bed. It's 4 in the morning, and uh, it's, it's, uh, somebody made the bed. You know when they make the bed uh, and they tuck in the bottom part of the bed? <laughs> so, so I'm in the, in the bed, and I'm kind of like, it's 4 in the morning, I forgot to untuck it. I'm going, why is it so uncomfortable here? And I'm feeling squished, in the, and I have my phone is here next to me in the bed. I always, before I go to sleep, check out my net worth on the phone. You know? <laughs> Oh, yeah, yeah, as one, as one does, yeah, of course. <laughs> you got you yeah. to know, what, you gotta know how life word. is and all that. So, yeah. <laughs> anyways, I, for real, started getting panicky, and I kicked my uh, legs. I was like, God damn, bad. And boom, and a phone flies in the air and hits me in the face. That's that. <laughs> so funny. Anyways, I was bleeding terribly. I, I felt it was pitch black in the room, and I, I feel and I feel wetness, and I go, yes. I'm, I trick myself. I go, those are probably just thick tears, because <laughs> I really I was so tired. Do you, do you cry sometimes when I, you I sleep? Was thick. <laughs> <laughs> I was having a sad dream. <laughs> no, so I didn't want to get up, you know, because I was tired, and I was like, ah, we'll fix that later. So I slept. Or, then I, I think I took a pillow and put it on it to stop the bleeding. And then when I woke up, it was horrible. Uh, it was bleeding all over. It was gushing and still and uh, blood all over the bed. There was blood on the bed and all that stuff. And then uh, my, uh, so I went to the. Uh, I said I got to get this fixed. So I went to the Apple store. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, you got to yeah, yeah, make sure that's working. I was swimming in the Mediterranean, right? It's very salty. This the sea over there. So you, you, the Mediterranean's got a lot of salt. So you float, float. You don't even have to try to tread water. You just float. So I'm floating around, having a fun time floating. Sandman just floating around. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I look up and I see a beach and I start floating closer to the beach. Everybody's nude. They're all feeling great about themselves being nude and no one even cares. There's older people nude, young, good people who look good, people who don't look so good are nude. Everyone's nude. They Everyone's don't care. Nude. They yeah. just feel comfortable. They're just like, it doesn't matter. This is me. This is who I am. I'm going to be nude. So I go, you know what? Let me do that. Let me try that. <laughs> I want to feel comfortable and confident. And everyone seems to be uh, cool here. Let me get, do this. So I'm swimming. I stand up in the water. and I, I take my bathing suit. I'm still underwater. I'm kind of slowly working up the confidence. I take my bathing suit off. And I'm like standing there. I go, I shouldn't do this. 
I'm like, this, someone's going to take my picture and ruin my life. So, uh, let, me, let me just stay underwater. This, this was a mistake, and I'm looking for my bathing suit. But because it's so salty, uh, the, the te testicles and the, uh, the... They were, like, floating up. So you could see him kind of floating on top of the water, and the other thing, the thing attached to the testicle, on top of the testicles was flo floating around, too, and I was trying to push it down. It kept coming back up and floating, and then... Uh, I, so there was a, a Spanish seagull uh, <laughs> nearby, and, and the Spanish seagull, I think, uh, I, I, it translated to, to the word worm, and uh, <laughs> it starts coming towards me. And then one of the other seagulls, no, no, no worm, no worm. No, no. And no, then, no. but and then a third seagull goes McDonald's French fry. So they, <laughs> they started went, they, coming they at me. They went, I gave it to them. I'm so. You I, gave, it. I was a guest in their country. I said you have a good time. And See, eat. that's what that's what a gentleman does. That's what I. That's it, you're a good you. man. You're I a gentleman. Did. That's how they raised me. <laughs> I gotta get. I gotta get serious with you. Why? Why? You tell me if I said you had hip surgery. I had hip surgery, everybody. It was sad. Dude, I feel, boy, what happened? What are you talking about? It was funny. Uh, I, so I, I was, it was, it was aching. My uh, groin was aching. And then they said it was my hip. I thought it was my groin, but it was my hip. So I get the surgery, and you got to replace, you replace your hip when your hip's bad. <laughs> so, <laughs> so I go to uh, the doctor yeah. in the morning. Very nice. You get the surgery, and I'm sitting in the bed. And uh, they're, uh, and they, the man anesthesiologist, is that how you say it? Yeah. He says, uh, all right, we're going to knock you out. You know, we're going to put you on some drugs. So they put me on some uh, light drugs. And then he said, we're going to, you know, amp it up. But uh, what mu when we bring you into the operating room, what music would you like to listen to? And I go, what do you mean? Why am I listening to music? <laughs> and then he goes, well, we like to keep it fun in there. And I go, oh. <laughs> and I was already a little weird, dazed from the, the mild drugs. And so I'm going, uh, 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 he goes, who do you like? I go, I don't know. I don't know who I like. And so uh, he goes, I listen to Dolly Parton on the way here. And I go, yeah, yeah. He goes, do you like Dolly Parton? I go, I think everybody likes Dolly Parton. And, <laughs> and then he's like, yeah, all right. So he brings me in the... Uh, operating room or whatever it is and, I, and, and amps up the whatever. F f yeah, and you the, start falling asleep? Have, I'm not... He, when the groin, they, they have to numb... I mean, with the hip, they have to uh, numb the bottom like, like if you're having a baby. Okay. So, <laughs> so they numb, they're numbing that, so he has to keep me awake on drugs but be awake, but he's holding me up, right? They're holding me forward and they're drugging me through the back or something like that. And the man's face... <laughs> is right next to mine, the anesthesiologist, yeah. and I'm hearing this music, and it's thumping, and it's going, boof, boof, doo, doo, doo. It's like a rocking tune. Yeah. And he's talking to me, and I'm so on drugs that I'm going, am I supposed to answer you? <laughs> and, uh, and I'm looking at his mouth that's moving. I'm going, oh, he's definitely looking at me. He's definitely <laughs> asking questions. And, but, and then I start going, but maybe I already responded. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm just kind of looking nuts, and, I'm, and then... I just, and I got no words out, and I was going, man, this is, this is heavy. And then he's looking at me, and he's like, give me a head nod goodbye. And I, the only words that came out of my mouth were, this isn't Dolly Parton. <laughs> <laughs> that was, uh, yeah. That's not Dolly Parton. Yeah. Everyone loves Dolly Parton. Yeah, yeah. 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 Which, uh, which hip got replaced? My, le my left hip, uh, which would be a great movie. But... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but my, did you see my left Yeah, hip? yeah, exactly. Uh, anyway, so my wife was nervous about my, uh, when I went <laughs> into surgery, so she, that they were going to operate on the wrong hip. Oh. So uh, she. That happens, yeah. That happens. Sometimes right. I make a mistake. So she wrote on my right hip, no. <laughs> so it was a big no, no in big, thick magic marker. <laughs> and That's nice of her, though. The p sad part, I wake up. And the no is still there, and there's an arrow pointing to my penis. <laughs> <laughs> that doctor's funny. I like, I like the that. Doc, yeah, the yeah, doctor's yeah. funny. I he like that doctor. Yeah. Yeah.